for Systems Academy. This is Richard Turnock again, and this time we're going to start a, a series of um, videos. I'm going to talk about linear inflow and exponential decay. First, we're going to I'm going to show you the basic equation, the basic model. Uh, we're going to have a a level variable, and we're going to have a linear inflow, so some material, physical or abstract material is flowing in to the, and accumulating in the stock, but then we um, add a decaying um, outflow, and we're going to add a variable here that is the rate of decay, and then we're going to connect with the information, the blue arrows, we're going to connect these. So this is your basic uh, model, basic equations for linear inflow and exponential decay. So the equations we're going to um, Check the equations here. So we're going to have a rate of decay of um, some number, let's say 5. And then we're going to put in the equation. We're going to take the level and divide it by the rate of decay. The level, we need a non-zero value, so we're going to put in uh, 50. And then for the inflow, we're going to put in uh, 10. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, model put together here, but we need to do one more thing. We need to check the model settings uh, And we want to save this sketch so um, We're going to give it a name um, Linear And uh, exponential decay And then here's what I want to focus on is the model settings. Uh, so we're going to pick the recommended uh, place to start is uh, often uh, 0.25. I like to start with 0.0625. Computer's fast enough to do that. We've got RK4, which is run good cut of 4. Months, it doesn't really matter. We're just um, doing a conceptual model here. All right, so now we're going to um, try to run the model, and we should try to see what happens here. We're going to create a new data set, and uh, we're going to graph the inflow. So the inflow is 10. What we really want to look at is the um, level variable. So... Um, here we go. It's 50 all the time. Why is it the same all the time? So this would be something where you would want to look at why this model is in what we call equilibrium. Um, that is the inflow and the outflow are the same. And this would be a basic place to start. Uh, is to get your model in equilibrium. So how did I do that? 
Well, I used a rate of 5. You remember this equation? Level divided by the rate of decay. So if the level is 50 and the rate of decay is 5, don't want to add that in there. I was trying to highlight it. But. So if the uh, rate of decay here is 5 and the level is 50, then 50 divided by 5 is 10. So every uh, time period, the outflow is going to be 10 if the level is 50. So if we uh, look at the equation for the uh, inflow, we see that it's got 10 here. Every time period, it's going to add 10. So every time period, the inflow is 10, and every time period, the rate of decay is 10. So it's in, that's why we got a graph where it was in equilibrium. Well, that's the inflow again. Don't want that. Have to click on this. Ah. We have to um, click on the little hand and then highlight the level, and then it'll show in the graph the variable that you just highlighted. So the level here is 5, 50 I mean, and it's in equilibrium. So this is our basic model for linear inflow and exponential decay.